Welcome to the Darwinian Delusions channel. This channel is dedicated to showing that Darwinism is speculative, based on assumptions, and there's disputes about its most fundamental ideas. Now there's a misplaced contention which is put forth by Darwinists, and it goes like this. Look at all the research papers which are published all across the world. Look at all the documentaries which are shown on TV. Look at all the books, look at all the articles, look at all the biologists that support it. Surely this can't be wrong. Just look at this avalanche of information which is coming out from all across the world. Now this is actually a fallacy of division because all of that information is still valid if we get rid of Darwinian evolution as a paradigm. Let me explain that in terms of a practical example. So we have a published paper in say the journal Nature which talks about the evolution of bacteria and how we have discovered some new medicine after doing some experiments and the bacteria mutates. Okay, now say we have this published paper and this is one amongst a million papers and lectures and whatnot all across the world that's being published. Now say Darwinian evolution as a paradigm, we replace it by a number of alternatives. We can replace it by evolution by natural genetic engineering. We can replace it by evolution, symbiotic evolution that was proposed by Lynn Margulis, or we can replace it by evolution by self-organization, or we can replace it by evolution, a Lamarckian evolution. We can replace it by Lamarckian evolution, or we can replace it by Mendelian mutationism. Any of these five alternatives, we can just completely get rid of Darwinian evolution, replace it by this. And we can also replace the history of life, the tree of life, with the web of life, or the bush of life, or the hedge of life, or instead of universal common ancestry, we can say multiple origins, multiple parallel lines of evolution taking place, and you know, one origin was say, four billion years ago, and then there were 17 origins three billion years ago, and then there was a thousand origins, say, a thousand years ago, whatever. You just change the history of life, and you just change the mechanism, um, by any of these alternatives. And by the way, all of these alternatives were put together by secular mainstream biologists. But say we did that, how on earth would that change the observable experiments which were being published in nature? How would that change any of the information that we've collected about the jaw sizes of crocodiles in Africa? All of the information which, which is being pushed across the world of you know all the stuff we've discovered in biology all of this is not just one piece of data which supports darwinism darwinism is an inference about the history of life and all of the great stuff that is happening in medicine and all of the great stuff that's happening in you know doctors saving lives and all the rest this is unaffected by what you you know, speculate about the his what the history of life is like. This is unaffected by that. So the whole idea that all of this information supports the Darwinian worldview is simply mistaken. You can have multiple inferences based upon the same evidence. To find out more reasons why Darwinian evolution is speculative, is based on assumptions and there are disputes about its most fundamental ideas amongst secular academics, make sure you subscribe.